Let's make some patchwork prints today and use the entire sheet of paper. Hey, welcome back friends. So in this video, um, I want to show you how I did this. I, I did this on um, Patreon. So this is a Dilusions journal and the pages are much bigger. So my plate is only eight by 10 and my deli papers are nine by 13. So my idea was to patchwork. And to really just go for a lot of grunge, I used stencils occasionally. Um, some of the papers were transparent, like these, this black here. But most of them, I covered the deli paper completely. They still had a little bit of transparency to them, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that here. Like right here, you could see the blue underneath. Um, here, you could see a little bit of that color underneath the very pale green so I was that, that that's kind of the look I was going for grungier the better and even even this little thing I'm going to try to do this again to see if I can get this effect that was just the edge of the brayer that was making that odd that odd thing and I really liked it so I just kept overlaying on the same sheets and we also used some texture plates so Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to try to recreate um, what I did here and um, maybe use some of the same colors as well. So I use a lot of deli paper. Now this is one that I get um, on Amazon and you get 120 sheets, 9 by 13. And this is how they come. They're, they're not folded or anything like the ones that are in those little pop-up boxes. I don't, I don't want folds in the middle of my paper. Okay, so here we go. As far as I can tell, they're the same on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna start by just laying down some manganese blue and maybe some quinacridone red over here and we'll try to overlap a little bit i will get some interesting colors and i don't even mind the lacing because we're going to be overlaying remember so I'm going to go this way with the paper. And I don't even care about the wrinkles. Here we're going to go this way. Okay, so now we'll lay down some Hansi Yellow. And I love that little stripe of green we're getting in there. And I'm going to overlay that over here. So this is, you have to kind of bend it a little you still get the wrinkles really hard to not get the wrinkles another thing that i discovered it's always good to have another sheet on hand because then we start to get this sheet will become something else So see what starts to happen? Like this is completely unexpected. The Hansi Yellow is very transparent, so we are, we're getting some interesting stuff. 
So now if I want to go, I'm going to go this way with my stripes. And let me lay down a little bit more here and here. Maybe get some orange in the middle. I'm going to go this way. So see how we're starting to get some, look at some of the interesting colors we're getting right in here. And where we had the folds, now the blue is peeking through. Okay, so let's, I'm going to put more yellow here. This is quinacridone red. I'm going to do the same thing again, but we're going to go on a different piece of paper now. I'm going to leave those dots. You know, I'm just going with my intuition on all this. I'm going to go right over this one. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to get another sheet. And you can see how fast the deli paper just picks up everything. So because we had, we used this clean sheet to pick up around the edges, we now got some interesting thing going through here. So that's why I say, like, go for the unexpected here. Okay. Put down some blue, and we're going to get some green. Oh, I meant to do this. Let's put this down the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some texture plates. Okay, the one I have right here, this is the cardboard one that I made recently. I'm going to use that on this end. And I have this other piece of cardboard that's a different kind. I don't know if you could see that. So I'm going to go this way. Ooh, that's interesting right there. Okay, so let's try to do it all the way down. Great. All right, so now we will put that over this top part. That's a lot of fun. So on this side, we still have some transparency, which I might want to get rid of. So I might do, um, let's see, what color would I want to put underneath that? I could, I could print on the other side. So let's see, maybe I want to do a very pale yellow. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow down, some Titan buff. We're going to do the underside because I don't want to make, I don't want to make this part pale. I just don't want it to be transparent. It might still be a little bit transparent because the yellow. is transparent. 
Oh, that is beautiful. So that's a very good paper. All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to add some blue this way. A little bit of red this way. And I, I like working in the three primaries and then getting, you know, those greens and purples by mixing on the plate. Now, let's, let's try to go light with this. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm going to do my favorite texture plate. This time I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take this one, go in the other direction. I'm going to start, I'm just going to put that on this one. We will go, oh, it's not this one. Okay, we will start with a clean one on this one. I'm going to have to clean this up. Okay, I got that one down flat. All right. This one I'm going to put yellow all over. A sloppy application. Again, we're going to try to put this on the back side of this. So that we see that yellow peeking through. Interesting. Put this up. So this is giving us slightly duller colors because I really mixed the blue and the red together a lot. So we got more of a burgundy going on here. We have some purples and a different, different shade of blue, even though it was the same blue. Look at how much duller it is than this bright blue here. So let's try a little bit of Payne's Gray with this, maybe. I think I'm going to do super sloppy. Maybe do, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to overprint on that last one. Hmm, that was probably not a good idea. I do like what I have here, so I'm going to let that dry. Then my, what I might do is pick that up with a red and put that here. I'm going to try to pick that up with green gold. Maybe just a touch of yellow. Well, green gold is also very transparent. And I love the way it looks with the Payne's Gray. It's always been a favorite color combination for me. So 
this isn't as bright and as beautiful as the other papers that I showed you, but there is a place for this for sure. I especially love the way the green interacted with these, with these reds and we got these really deep earthy colors um, that you find in nature, you know? I love also how this all looks over here. This I'm still not sure about, but pieces of it will definitely be good in some collage. And the rest of these, I'm going to try to go a little brighter. So I got some leftover here. I don't know why it didn't pick up. But let's try. I'm going to start with a yellow. And just a plain yellow sheet. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to put it right over this. Yeah, picked up. Okay, so we've got some interesting stuff starting here. So on this side, I want to maybe do different shades of blue and overlap over here again. So go brighter over here. Um, maybe go more, do something, I don't know. We're going to, one step at a time, we're going to go with the brighter blue over here. just going to do like that and let it lace and I'm going to go over this section we're going to we're going to do some overlapping here very nice okay so I'm going to take a little bit of the red here and do the same thing Okay. Now we have to get some color going in here. I'm going to try, since we have a little bit of the, the greenish color going on in here, I might go the other direction. And before we do anything, I'm going to first try to pick what's left on the plate in that section right there. Yeah. And even you see how it just keeps picking up. It just keeps going. So right here, I'm going to put a little bit of this red and then Look at that. Okay, so we still have to do some more layering over here. I am going to try to actually go lighter with the Titan buff. Oh, look at how it's mixing with the Monacridone Red a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to try to Just get that section right there. And the rest of that with this. And then we'll overlay on this one. 
Okay, so on this one still, I still want to do something else. But I want to go in the other direction. So I am going to do... So I still want to overlay on top of this again. This time we're going to do the green gold. Just going to layer that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with that. All right, so now we still have this paper we have to add to, and we're going to start going this way with, with the colors. So I'm going to lay some of this blue down, and let's try to get a, a nice yellow, I mean a nice green. Pretty, all of these colors are. Hopefully. Oh, yes. I love what's happening in here. Love, love, love. Also, what's happening in here. Okay, and that pink that's underneath is showing through the wrinkles. So, you just never know what, when you, what you're going to be layering and what you're going to be getting. So, let's just try. Do a little bit of that. Go and go this way this time. You're definitely going to have to put another layer on top of that. So what I'm thinking is maybe this one needs a little bit of that magenta, or not magenta, quinacridone red, with a tiny bit, just a drop. I'm going to add some texture this time. Get my box of plates out. All right, this time I'm going to use some, it's like a floral that I have. And we're going to overlay that here. Okay, so we still have like the edge of the paper, so I'm going to clean up over here. I'm go over this a little bit more right here in the middle. And Right here is going to go here. So you can see this is a really great way to get some very interesting collage paper. Okay, 
Okay, let's do one more. I'm going to go a little darker. Again, with the Payne's Gray. I didn't like it last time, but let's try to do a simpler paper that has a lot of texture. Again, we'll add color to the back of it, but really lightly. Okay, so let's Go oh, super random like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, then we'll overlay. I'm going to pick this up first. I'm going to pick this up with a uh, green gold. And a little bit of yellow. I do love this color combination. Of course, the Payne's Gray goes almost completely black, but it's it's just gorgeous. Okay, so now at least we have a clean slate again. So I'm going to pick an unusual choice, I think. And that is the Cranacridone Nickel Azo Gold. It's super transparent. It might look really pretty with that. And I'll mix a tiny bit of yellow with it. I'm going to find a stencil. I'm going to do my brand new stencil. See what happens. Okay, what do we want to do with this? We're going to let this dry. We're going to pick this up with um i don't know maybe we should just go right back over it okay i might ruin it oh no i didn't ruin it i like it okay so we've got some interesting designs going on here um I still don't want any of this transparency back here. So we are going to, I don't want to add any more color. Although that might, this is kind of screaming at me a little bit, this little bit right here. So I think that might, how we can make that. 
is mostly yellow. A dash. And again, we're going to put that on the back side. I like this. I'm going to try to get that over here. So if you were using any paper other, look at that, other than deli, it would not continually pick up like this. The deli paper just keeps picking up, especially if there's paint on it. The, the paint that's on the paper con continues to grab the paint here and clean it up. Okay, so I want something else to be shining through back here where it's transparent. So I'm thinking maybe a, a lighter blue. And one that's messy like this. That might be very pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if we have any transparency anywhere, like right here, wow, that blue, that. That blue and blue together is gorgeous. Anyway, I'm very happy with this one. Okay. I said I was only going to do one more, but let's do another one. <laughs> you get me started on this. These are a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun. Okay, this is in my way now. Okay, so I had a little bit of blue on my brayer, so it is doing a little ombre going on here. And I like these spatters right here, so I'm going to leave them. I was not able to get those. I must have had like a dirty brayer that day, and it gave me some interesting... It's, it's not happening today. Can't force it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do that. Okay. I am going to do a little bit of texture in this red area. I think we have something interesting going on up here, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to take this other sheet that we started. Beautiful. What we got so far is nice. But let us let us put a little bit, tiny bit of blue up there. I was just playing with the brayer. I'm going to overlap this a little bit, this part, a little bit here. But 
Very nice. Okay, I want to get more blue up there. I'll put a little bit right here. Just like that. And maybe a little blue right in here. Again, just a strip. Ooh, there was something here I'm going to lose now. Oh, geez. Let me leave just like that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So since that is there, I'm going to try to do that here. With what's left. Let's see if I can add any of that to this. So this is this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of that texture right there, right here. So this is kind of bothering me on this one. So I think I'm going to do something with this nickel azo. But only around the top. Maybe a little green right in here, or, or this blue. So let me get this in here. And right here. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of this with this. Now these, this I could just leave as a transparent sheet that has some interesting stuff on it. <clears throat> but I think I will because I really love what's going on over here and right here. So I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so let's do a recap. I think I got some really great papers, but we started out with this one which as you can see we have some really nice interesting things going on where the wrinkles were but i also love how like the overlapping added some additional color so just with three colors which was quinacridone red hansa yellow and manganese blue we have so many different shades of colors in here it's just beautiful So then I pulled out my, my uh, cardboard and we got some interesting things going on, like on this side, but also some subtle things going on over here. So I kind of, I like a little bit of both. And I really love, you know, like what's going on in the middle here. But see how like that simple cardboard that I didn't even cut into or anything, how interesting the, the marks that it made. Okay, so this one had some lacing. I, I left the transparency at the end, and that's fine. Um, but we've got some gorgeous things happening over here. And definitely this middle section. Love it. So 
so then I did my texture stamp so you could you could whatever stamps you have whatever or cardboard or whatever you have around the house um, use it to make patterns and these um, these greens and blues are just really exciting to me but I even love this little bit that happened right here where I was cleaning the plate with that. The only thing I wish I had done was done something that was going in the other direction with this. Okay, so I, I did this one that has, you know, the stripes going in different directions. So I kind of like that. It did get a little muddy. I, I love this color combination here, so it will definitely get used. And I do love some of these organic, um, really deep, deep greens and, and reds that are in here. Really subtle information here. So I love that. Also, this purplish color that we've got here in the center. So I don't, I don't hate this. I just, um, it just came out a little darker than I was going for. And then to, just to clean up the plate, I did that. And this is also, it's gorgeous. Some of the lighter shades of the green in here are beautiful and, and are transparent. So um, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to use that one. Okay, so then we went back to bright. And we, we got it all in here, including an olivey color that happened in here. And... Um, but this beautiful bright blue, I love how it gets introduced right here. Just um, love it. And this, this paper, I'm still not sure about. Again, it came out kind of dark. But this area right in here is gorgeous. And this is transparent back here, so I will definitely use that. Right? Even like like this area with the circles um, and the texture. Fantastic. Okay, so what is my favorite? Let me see. Let me see. You will probably guess because it's the brightest. Um, but yeah, this one has more things interrupting the pattern. So we've got colors going this way. We have colors going that way. So this one, I think, is more successful because of that. Not everything is just going in this direction. So I should have turned the paper more. So when you try this, turn the paper or put, you know, like sometimes brayer the two colors this way and try brayering them the other way and still laying your paper the same way. You will get that same effect. Anyway, it's, uh, I'm kind of a little upset that I didn't get that little stripe from the brayer because... Oh, that, I guess, was an accident. So let me pull that out again to show you. But this kind of happened. And it was probably a buildup of something on the edge of my brayer that I suddenly was getting these stripes. And I was like, okay, stop now. We want to keep that. <laughs> Actually, super, super interesting. So, and I probably used a little bit of... Um, put out little magenta and maybe that's how I got some of these brighter pinks but anyway and I didn't do any black papers today because I have a ton of these lots anyway thank you for stopping by today uh, I hope this is, inspires you to try something like this with deli paper you, or if you have wet strength tissue you could do it with that you could try it with regular tissue paper, but the overlaying and the overlaying uh, might tear it. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, wet strength tissue or deli, give this a try. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to create, inspire, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.